all right y'all so welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here so i know it's been a minute since i last posted a video i think my last video was like how to swallow the baby and this was back in like october i think so y'all know i just had a baby in august baby girl is now four months and i just been trying to adapt to the newborn stage the infant stage y'all know how it is they make their own schedules in the beginning they don't really have to have a schedule so they sleep when they want which is pretty much all the time and on top of that i'm a breastfeeding mom too so y'all know breastfeed babies are totally different so baby girl will not stay asleep unless she's up under me if she's not up under me she will wake up so that's been a struggle of course trying to keep her asleep so that i can do things that need to be done on top of that so that i can even just get some proper rest because she be, she's attached to the titty y'all she's attached to the titty but nonetheless i can't complain we are blessed um also just trying to adapt to being a mom of three now like three a five-year-old a three-year-old and a four-month-old Woo, child this is ghetto <laughs> but i wouldn't change it for the world y'all i love my baby I like so i think the biggest struggle for me right now is trying to find a schedule and sticking to the schedule. And when I mean sticking to the schedule is getting an ample amount of sleep in order to stick to the schedule. Because right now, I we wake up right up at 5. Well, I get up at 5.30 to get a ride ready for school. So I want to wake up every day at 5.30 to get my schedule started. But if I don't get enough sleep at night because Sarai just wants to suck on my boob all night, um then when 5 30 comes when i get a right up for school after her and daddy leave the house then i'm ready to go back to sleep so yeah coffee has been helping but i still want to be able to get some kind of you know ample amount of rest once she gets older of course it'll get better her sleep time will get longer and she won't be so dependent on the tv but right now she's only four months so I just gotta get used to it. So I think that's my biggest struggle. On top of that, she stopped taking a pacifier. So my titty is literally the milk source and it's literally pacified as well. So I'm trying to retrain her on taking a pacifier because when she was first born, she did take the pacifier. And I'm trying to think why I slowed down. I think I slowed down giving her the pacifier because when she was born, if y'all remember, she did have low blood sugar. So I think I started trying to feed her more which means giving her the titty more so that she would eat more just to make sure her sugar level stayed high and doing that that made her want the titty more and the pacifier less and like I said to the point now where she won't even take the pacifier so I'm trying to retrain her if you can even retrain her baby to take a pacifier I'm trying to get her back used to the pacifier because I think that would help her sleep longer at night too like when she starts sucking or wake up in the middle of the night just put the pacifier back in her mouth and she'll go back to sleep instead of looking for the titty because of course she's looking for the titty so i'm having to wake up too um i think that's the biggest struggle right now y'all but this postpartum stage for me y'all has been the best out of all three pregnancies this postpartum stage has been the best like i'm feeling myself again i think i'm pretty i'm not depressed i still have anxiety it's not as high as it was with a right and shot but i do have the anxiety stage but i'm also learning too that a lot of moms have that anxiety and some moms show it some moms don't so i think it's literally just a part of being a mother so i guess it's just the normal postpartum anxiety or just the normal anxiety from having kids because I've also learned once you have kids, you'll just be worried for the rest of your life. So, anyways, I can't complain. Like I said, I'm doing better than I've ever did. And let me go ahead and address this. Because I know y'all probably wondering, didn't this girl just have locks? Like, not too long ago. So, <laughs> I did call my locks out, y'all. I called my locks out back in, I want to say October. I don't know. I think I want to say October, I called my locks out. Um, the reason I called my locks out was because y'all know how the longer your locks get, the ten more tension it starts causing. And my hair is already thin, so my hair is already like prone to breaking off. So y'all know how y'all see people with long locks and then their hairline is like receding or they start balding on the top of their head or, you know, I'm trying to be proactive and avoid that. Cause like I said, my hair is already thin. So once tension of any kind starts hitting it, my hair easily breaks off. So my plan is to get micro locks let me not say sister locks i was about to say sister locks but my plan is to get micro locks um when i don't know i was going to wait until my postpartum hair loss happened and then started coming back like my hair started growing back you know and getting healthy from the postpartum hair loss which usually takes about closer to a year when the child is born um oh, well yeah after the child's first birthday i'm gonna say but i don't know because i'm actually liking this like my hair is so healthy so what i did was i combed my locks out it took about i ain't even gonna lie it took about a whole month just to comb my locks out 
Um, I started taking them out at the length that they were, but I felt like it would be quicker, the process would be quicker if I cut them in half and then combed them out. So that's what I did. I actually cut my locks in half and then I combed them out. This is what my hair looks like. Like I said, it's real healthy. I combed my locks out, went ahead, washed it, blew it dry, flat ironed it, and then I clipped my ends. This is, I think, my third wash and flat iron, and it's actually got a lot of body. And yeah, so like I said, I'm four months postpartum, and that's usually when my postpartum hair loss occur, occur around month three, around month four. Let me show y'all my edges. So it's actually not as bad as they were when I had Araya and Yasha. But as y'all can see, I do have some postpartum hair loss. Not as bad, but it's still there, which is why I'm wearing the bang. And it was crazy because when I was younger, I hated the bang, but now that I'm older, I'm liking the bang. But like I said, my hair is definitely healthy. Um, like I said, I washed it, I blew it dry, I flat ironed it, I went through and I clipped all the, like, the dead ends and everything off. But like I said, I plan on getting Michael locks. I'm not sure when, because I'm actually liking my hair now. But um, maybe I get a few you know, natural hairstyles out the way and then I'll go back to my Michael locks. But yeah, so that's the plan. So yes, I did comb my locks out. And that is the reason why I'll probably make a separate video going into detail and explaining why I comb my locks out and also what I plan to do next as far as the micro locks. So just stay tuned. Also, y'all know this was Orion's first year to start school. Orion is doing real good in school, y'all. My baby had all ADDs in her report card. She was also the star student of the day. And just this week, I found out that she, we did a, a Veterans Day project and it was crazy, y'all. Okay, so she won third place. So we did the project. It wasn't like graded or anything and it wasn't like mandatory, but I ain't gonna lie, I waited to the last minute and I was like, let's just do this project just because I don't want my baby to go to school. And she sees other kids with these poster boards and these projects. And she's like, I want one too. So I was like, we could just, just do it. So we kind of sort of threw it together, but I did put some thought into it while we were doing it, you know, cause of course that was her first project. And I wanted her to have fun and enjoy doing it. So we did the little Veterans Day project. She took the poster to school and everything. And um, after Thanksgiving break, we went back. She went back to school. When I picked her up that Monday from school, she came home. She had a medal around her neck and she had her project in her hand. So I was like, what you got the medal for? And she was just like, uh, for doing good. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I ain't think no more of it because on top of the project, she also had, um, she had to remember her lunch number by that Monday. And she also had a reading log that she had to complete by that Monday. So I thought the medal was just for that. So I'm up the other night just scrolling Facebook because this was like two in the morning because Sarai wouldn't go to sleep. And I'm scrolling the school page and I see a picture of her and I'm like, oh, they got my baby in here. So I click on it and come to find out y'all, she won third place. So the medal was for her winning third place on the little project. So I'm proud of my baby, even though, you know, I was the one that put the project together. But you know what I'm saying? It was, it was my creative process. But anyways, I'm proud of my baby. Um, but yeah, she's doing real good in school. She's loving school. So I'm so proud of her, y'all. Look who's up, you guys. So, um, when I found out I was pregnant, y'all, and I had told the kids, Araya was excited. She was, like, real accepting and everything of it. But Yashai, he, was, he wasn't fooling with it. He was like, no, mommy not having no baby. Like, he did not want me to be pregnant. Like, his whole attitude changed. Throughout my pregnancy, he seemed like, he was, like, angry, kind of. I can't really explain it, y'all, but I can't really explain it. But y'all know mothers know what's best. And he was just, like, almost like a different, a different child. But... Now that Sarai is here, he cannot stay out of face. Like, he is just so protective over her. Both of his sisters, really, but he is so protective over Sarai. He's, like, always in her face. He cannot stay out of her face. He's always kissing her. He always trying to help me with her. Like, everything is crazy. And, I mean, even, like, the angry little boy that I remember. Like, he's not even that angry little boy no more. So, I feel like I got my son back, if that makes sense. Y'all mothers know what I'm talking about. But, like, I guess because when I was pregnant, I was, like, real sick. Because y'all know I had HG. And when I was real sick, I couldn't really tend to him and give him that attention that, like, he needed. So, like I said, I feel like that, that's what, like, angered him, kind of. Like, that was, like, the cause of the, of the change in his behavior. But, like I said, now that I'm back and it's me, him, and Sarai, and he's getting that one-on-one -on -one attention from me, I feel like I got my son back. So, I'm happy. Like I said, I'm proud of him as well because he is a great big brother. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I mean, we're doing good. Kids are great. I'm good. Hubby is good. I 
I can't I can't complain. We are ready for this and I'm just excited y'all. So yeah, I'm back. Like I said, I'm still adjusting, but I promise that I'm gonna be posting more. I made a promise to myself and a commitment to myself that I'm gonna start posting more. Like it's getting a lot better from that infant stage. When she was a newborn, she was real, real colicky, gassy, all of that. And she's finally, I guess, adjusted to it. She's learning how to just push whenever she got a, you know, poop. She's learning how to get her gas out, I guess you could say. So she's not as fussy or as cranky anymore as she was. So yeah, I do plan on posting more, do plan on recording more videos and being more active because, yeah, like, what else does it? And if you haven't noticed, I did change my name to Mother Scoose. Like Mother Goose, but Mother Scoose. Because, I mean, I got three kids now. Most of my content, or majority of my content, and maybe even all of my content is going to be basically, like, catered to kids. I don't really want to say catered to kids, but it's just going to be about me adjusting to the mom life and just things that we do on a daily basis. Um, as far as me being a parent of three now. So, yeah, I did change my name. Tell me how you like your name. Mother Scoose, like Mother Goose, but it's Mother Scoose. I think I like it, so I just wanted to give y'all an update, let y'all know that I was back, because I know y'all probably missed me, because I missed y'all, and yeah, so we will see y'all in another video, and it won't be that long, it'll probably be this week sometime, hopefully, keep our fingers crossed, so yeah, we'll see y'all in the next video.